The MG4 has definitely made an impact on the EV market, winning many different awards. Now they have done things a little bit different and there aren't any optional extras. Instead, you can get the SE, SE Long Range or Trophy. So we're gonna see what the difference between the SE and the Trophy actually is and if it's worth the extra five grand. If you're looking for a full in-depth review of the MG4 in general, make sure to click this link up here. But we're going to do a quick overview of what actually is the MG4 and what can we expect. The MG4 is an award-winning electric hatch, impressing the market thanks to its value for money, fantastic looks and fun driving experience, especially thanks to its rear-wheel drive. The stylish EV is a statement by MG of what their electric future is going to look like and it's pretty impressive. You'll find a surprisingly quality interior with a spacious rear three seats, a full infotainment system including Apple CarPlay and a simplistic design throughout. And don't forget the generous hatch boot size. So let's start with price. The SE comes in at £26,000. Now you can get the long range version for a little bit more, but if we're going to go to the top of the spec range, the trophy is coming in at £31,500. Now that still isn't bad in terms of electric vehicle prices, but is it worth the extra over the SE? The standard SE comes with a 51 kilowatt hour battery, and that's gonna give us 280 miles worth of range and charging wise 10% to 80 in just 40 minutes in a public fast charger. The Trophy comes with a bigger battery from standard, which means we get a 64 kilowatt hour battery, a range of 271 miles, and a charging time of 10 to 80% in just 60 minutes on a public fast charger. But if you're a little bit stupid like me, remember that it has got a bigger battery, so obviously it's gonna take longer to charge. But if you want to meet somewhere in the middle, the long range version of the SE still has a 64 kilowatt hour battery, but due to it being a slightly bit lighter, it's gonna give us 280 miles of range. Now my speciality, power. The SE is gonna give us 170 PS. Now the torque is gonna to remain the same for the trophy, but we are gonna get an extra 33 PS, giving us a grand total of 203. And when it comes to efficiency, the Trophy is estimated to get 3.7 miles per kilowatt. Now, this is actually slightly more than the SE, but literally not by much, 0.1 mile per kilowatt, meaning this will still get you 3.6. I may have told a slight fib when I said there wasn't any additional extras. There is one, the color choices. The SE, you do get an extra couple of choices, including this really nice dynamic red for an extra 695 pounds. But if you get the trophy, you get this awesome volcanic orange. Again, it's gonna set you back 695 pounds, but you're certainly not gonna lose it in a car park. The one feature that you do get in the trophy that I think makes it definitely worthwhile is heated seats and a heated steering wheel, but it doesn't stop there. You also get live services such as weather, a wireless charger, 360 parking, and blind spot assist. Really helpful features. There's also a couple of other ways that you can tell you have a trophy apart from the bright orange colour. Now you get a two-tone black roof, a twin aero spoiler and a much fancier rear centre light. Which adds a nice modern and funky touch to the style. And one of the final differences is the trophy has electric folded mirrors. It's because the boot's open. And one of the final differences, which is quite a handy feature when you're parking in a tight space, is the electric folded mirrors on the trophy. Pretty nifty. So if you're unsure whether the trophy is worth the extra five and a half grand, but you do need that extra range from the SE, then remember you can still get the SE long range. But if you're like me and you value things like parking sensors and heated seats and that gorgeous orange, I think I'd be driving away in the trophy. But there we have it guys, you all know the drill. To make my journey your journey, like, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.